What is this? <laughs> you cannot be serious. <laughs> it's a matchbox? I know, duh. I wanted to find out what's the maths word for the shape. It's a right rectangular prism. Zandi is right. The matchbox is a right rectangular prism. I have used seven right rectangular prisms to build a structure. I want to paint the outsides of the structure or the surface area. Now how would you work out the surface area? The area that I would have to paint. I've asked Zandi and Tubeka to try and work it out. Let's see how they're getting along. Well, I think the first step should be to measure all the dimensions of the matchbox. Hmm, that's a good idea. Okay, it's 5,2, 3,7, and 1,6. We need to make sure that we know exactly what the structure looks like by counting the different rectangular surfaces and then working out the correct dimensions. Let's start by working out the surface area of the front face rectangle. The front face rectangle is this side over here and we'll call this type 1. Now the surface area of this rectangle is given by this formula area is equal to base multiplied by height. Now we know that the base is 5,2 so I'll substitute that here. Multiplied by the height which is 1,6 and we'll use our calculator to work this value out. 5,2 multiplied by 1,6 gives us 8,32 centimeter squared. Now we work out the surface area of the side face rectangle. We'll call this rectangle type 2. We know that the area of a rectangle is area is equal to base multiplied by height. Now the base in this case is 3,7 multiplied by the height which is still 1,6. Using our calculator we work out 1,6 multiplied by 3,7 and that gives us 5,92 centimeters squared. Right, there is one more type of surface to work out, the top face rectangle. We'll call this rectangle type 3. Again, we write down the area of the rectangle which is area equal base times height. And the base here is 5,2 centimeters multiplied by the height which is 3,7. Using our calculator, this gives us 5,2 multiplied by 3,7, 19,24 centimeters squared. Now we are ready to count all the outside faces of the structure. Let's make use of an animation to show the different views of the structure. <laughs> Let's look at that again, slowly, and count the number of faces in each view. Let's start with the front faces. Remember the front faces represented type 1 rectangles. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of type 1 rectangles. Now let's look at the left view. Remember this view gave us type 2 rectangles. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 of type 2 from the left view. Now let's look at the back view. Remember the back view was type 1 rectangles. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now this makes a total of 10 of type 1 rectangles. Let's have a look at the right view. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of type 2. That means that we all together we have 12 of type 2. Now let's look at the top view. We have 1, 2, 
three, four of type three rectangles. In this instance, we don't have to count the number of faces underneath the structure because it is stuck down. We can look at it like this. If this structure were a house, would we paint the foundations underneath the house? Of course not. So now to find the area of the structure, we just need to add all of those areas together. When we counted the surfaces, we found that we had 10 times type 1, 12 times type 2, and 4 times type 3. Now, let's work out the area. Area is therefore equal to 10 times 8,32 plus 12 times 5,92 plus 4 times 19,24. We'll use our calculator to help us find our answer. And that gives us 231,2 centimeters squared. So the total surface area of the whole structure is 231,2 centimeters squared, which is quite big.